This is the Dragon Touch 10.1 inch digital picture frame. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get of course the frame itself. This still has its plastic covering on the screen. I've yet to peel off. They give you a quick start guide, a screen cleaning cloth. This is the stand for it. And over here is a power adapter with a barrel jack connector and a USB cable, USB to mini B, not micro. Let me tell you a bit about the specifications of this particular digital picture frame. First off, this is an IPS screen, which gives you a lot better viewing angle and color reproduction. It's 1280 by 800 resolution and has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. It's a touch screen, if I haven't already mentioned, so there's no buttons on the side or on the back that you have to go find. Everything is just like your phone or your tablet or something like that. And this also is Wi-Fi enabled. It has 16 gigabytes of storage on board. Let's go ahead and get this powered up. Before we get it powered up, I wanted to just point out this is the stand. Like a, acts like a kickstand. You have a locking port here for something like a Kensington lock. There's a hole here to mount it on the wall. And over on the side here are the ports. You have an SD card slot, headphone uh, jack over there, USB so you could plug a flash drive in. That's where the USB cable that's included. And there's your power. And you have simply a power button right there. Okay, once turned on and booted up, it wants you to select your wireless network. So I'll select that one and press next. There it is, now it's connected. And I'll go ahead and enter in the city and the time zone here. You can also set a schedule to automatically turn on and turn off. And now this screen is important. It has device info and it gives the frame ID. It says, please download and install the app, register an account and log in, then add the device to my devices in the devices module of the main interface of the app and it tells you where to search for it and get it so let me get the app okay here's the app I just registered for an account it's all free you know how to do this kind of stuff we'll go to devices and we're gonna go ahead and click on the plus over there and we're gonna put in a device name an email address which gives you at ourphoto.cn and then the frame ID which is right here. So the device name can be something like grandma's picture frame or something like that in case you have multiple ones of these so you can push the appropriate pictures to the appropriate frames. Let me get this logged in. Okay once in here it shows who wants to connect so we'll accept that. In the app here you can push photos and videos and even messages to the digital picture frame so that allows you to do that no problem it also can be uh, controlled by the PC as an FTP server so you can upload the files directly that way so over here in the album settings you can see the different settings you can have full screen if you want which typically you would slideshow you can select for how long before it goes into that so a minute is fine for now slideshow mode is sequential or random I'll choose random uh, interval five seconds you can of course scroll and select anything you want five seconds is just fine for for this slideshow transition effect there's depth zoom random zoom stack accordion cube you know a whole bunch of them in here we'll just leave it on ran on uh, random whoops there we are uh, you can delete photos and restore default settings. Under system settings over here, you can set the media volume, adjust the brightness of the display if you want. So we'll leave that there. Do our date and time. That's all correct. I'll choose 24 hour format right there date format is fine language auto on and off and factory data reset will reset everything and will likely also delete 
stuff on a flash drive you may have plugged into it. So with that being said, let's start easy. Let me plug a flash drive in and we'll just have it run the photos on there. And we'll do a demo with that and then I'll try pushing some stuff from the phone into the picture frame. So I have a flash drive plugged in and it's going to run a slideshow soon. I do want to point out that there's a calendar over here you can do and it'll run pictures in there if you want. You have the weather here. This is not my town. It's a nearby town. Just to give you an idea, we'll go back. And there's also a video, but let's go ahead and let it do its slideshow first. I shut the lights off so the camera can see this uh, better. These are some pictures from a recent trip that we took. Some better than others, of course. Please note that the round ball you see in the upper left corner of the screen, which you will see later, can be turned off. And this will just happily go about its business, displaying all of the photos on there, putting random transition effects and doing all kinds of stuff as it is. So that of course is its main function, but there's other things that it can do. This can also play videos, as I explained before, so we'll go ahead and play this one. So I've disconnected the flash drive now, and what I'm going to do now is go in the app, and I'm going to record a test video for this, and then send it to the frame. This is a test video for the Dragon Touch digital picture frame. Okay, so I have that all set. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and send that. And now I'll go ahead and hit video. We'll go to internal storage. Here it is here. This is a test video for the Dragon Touch digital picture frame. So I also have some pictures on the phone. And I'm going to go ahead and send those now. And there they are. That showed up rather quick. So we'll let the slideshow start. And here are the pictures that I just sent to the device. There's six of them, so we'll just let them run through quickly. This isn't a random order, and with six, there can be repeats, certainly. So all around, a very functional digital picture frame makes it super easy, especially if you have an elderly person in the family that you want them to be able to enjoy uh, stuff like that. You can record a quick video out with the kids, you know, and send that over to grandma. And then you can call her and let her know, hey, there's going to be a new video on the on the picture frame or new pictures, so look out for those. And, uh, you know, stuff like that. Or even if you're just, a, a, you know, your typical nuclear family, you can just upload your photos right from your phone or tablet or what have you, uh, or from your PC, very, very easily. So you don't have to go doing a sneaker net kind of thing with a USB flash drive or an SD card. It does have 16 gig of onboard storage at approximately 300 kilobytes per photo. That should give you about 40,000 photos. So once again, this was the Dragon Touch 10.1 inch digital picture frame. If you'd like to purchase this item, 
I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.